Well, we don't really know where the limit is, and uh, uh, whenever people are trying to discover something new, there is always a danger that uh, maybe we have already re reached that limit. Um, maybe the theory of inflation is a good example that uh, it dealt with uh, some events that happened at such early times and then uh, after that uh, many other things happened and uh, you could imagine that all traces of this initial inflation have been erased. Uh, nevertheless, um, the theory of inflation now appears to be confirmed by the data. So the brave people who really pushed the theory to the limit and worked out the observational effects predicted by inflation uh, are now rewarded that these uh, predictions are confirmed by the data. But the things uh, that I've been working on, like creation of the universe out of nothing, at the moment I cannot imagine how this can possibly be tested by observations. And uh, even if you imagine that this is some, somehow tested, then there is this probably the most intriguing questions, question of all is what determines the form of the laws of nature, the, the equations describing the evolution of the universe and also the creation it, of the universe out of nothing. Uh, these laws could be uh, could have some different form. For example, I use general relativity Einstein's theory, why Einstein's theory, why not something else? Um, at the moment it's very hard to imagine how we can even in principle answer this question. But maybe as before this is just the limit of our imagination.